Hi, welcome to another World of Engineering videos. Today I'm going to take you through um, two USB 3 hubs that I bought and um, USB 3 is becoming very popular and, and comes like a standard with all laptops. And I needed some, to buy a, um, a hub and I bought these two. So I already opened these. I'm going to start with these. So when you search eBay or um, all other um, websites, you basically see if there are, I would say, three, four main options, and these two are one of those. So first I bought this, as you can see, well, I took, already took one of the things out because it was open. So, um, it's nice design, uh, there the, the USBs are here, and uh, you can switch each of the USBs in and out, and the lights here would turn on and off there's a blue light it's just beautiful design it looks good but when I got it uh, uh, it wasn't working and uh, there was some sort of um, um, loose connection or something inside and then so interestingly try to open it as you can see they're using these uh, big ass buttons and these are not like for electronics uh, these are like uh, for more higher voltage, higher current switching. Um, so basically, they put these there and soldered it to this board. The issue was the way they soldered it. They soldered the um, the port, and it was very poorly soldered. And when I tried to uh, put it back, um, I couldn't because they already messed it up and. I, I I tried I looked on on eBay to find a female mini USB three I couldn't buy anyone so I could solder it here um, so that's why I bought another one but if going through this board um, so what I didn't like about this was these button they use these big ass buttons here and they just soldered it very cheap design back to this so. Basically, if you want to take it out, you have to unsolder all these um, buttons there. Uh, but the chip is used um, is um, can you get it focused. It's a GL thirty five twenty, and that's a um, USB three hub controller. It's a uh, decent uh, brand and quality, and so it is a USB three and. Um, I guess it's a bit of luck because there's not, not much quality control in them. If you buy uh, these, it might work. It might not work because the way they put these together. Whereas this one, and they're, they're both about uh, 12 to $15. This one, I really like the design. Again, this one had switches. You can switch each of these. Um, on and off then that's the light if you take that out All right. so as you can see that's looks more professional cleaner job um, all these these are proper push buttons you know it's not like a big ass switch um, and even the the crystal is used it's a better quality than, than this one that's the crystal and this one is um, what? using the exact same chip there so the identical but as you can see overall quality it's a lot better see how they um, in here they, uh, well there is no port they everything is soldered and then they glued it it's glued there um, and um, so what I did uh, here there was a um, Five volt uh, um, female plug to um, connect it to power supply because they re recommend um, if you want to use all four of these, you need the external power supply. So um, um, I just soldered this and uh, and properly uh, glued it here, and uh, so I can connect it to the power supply. Um, Speed wise, I tested them both, they're the same. Obviously, it depends if you connect them all together to USB 3, 
uh, and if you're using them all together, uh, you're not going to get a USB 3 speed. Um, so that the speed definitely reduces. Um, and I like the quality of, even of the plastic. It's, it has some sort of coating on it. You can see on the video. It's like one of those anti-slip, uh, anti-allergy um, or whatever you call it. <laughs> but this one is just a plain plastic thing. All right, well, thanks for watching, and um, I hope you find this helpful. If you have any comments or feedbacks, uh, don't hesitate, just write them below. Have a good day.